Now, as in the introduction, we discussed about the various classifications of SQL. The data definition language was one of them. And here in this video, we are getting an introduction of the DDL statements. So as we know, DDL stands for the data definition language and these are the commands which are actually categorized inside this data definition language. So basically any SQL statement which affects the structure or the information or I should say the metadata of the database, we will categorize them in the DDL that is data definition language. So let's have the look uh, what all statements are there. So first of all create statement. Create statement means when you create any database object. So obviously whenever you create a new object inside a database it will definitely change the structure of the database and as well as the metadata of the database. Obviously the database should know that okay there is an object with such particular name. So the metadata and structure both will be append both will be modified. Then alter. When you alter the structure of any existing database object. For example, if I have created a table and later I want to add or remove any of its column. So I can easily do that with the help of alter table. Then drop if you want to drop the structure means after executing this drop statement for any particular database object the definition of that object will no longer exist. Similarly truncate. Truncate is the statement which will only execute with the table. Whenever you will execute this truncate statement all the data of the table will be gone away. So maybe you think like it's just removing the data how come it is categorized in the data definition language. So basically when you execute truncate statement it removes all the data from the table but it will not remove the structure and along with the removing of the removal of data it will also release and free all the spaces occupied by that particular amount of data. So in the metadata or in the data dictionary of Oracle the uh, information like the percentage of memory used and percentage of memory which is free will be changed because obviously if my table is uh, consuming maybe 20 KB or 20 MB of data that will be uh, changed to some different values. So this truncate will actually change the metadata and it removes all the data along with releasing the spaces. So whatever you will execute will not be able to roll back and all the data will be uh, uh, deleted. Now next is rename. So rename is basically the DDL command which renames the any particular object like if you want to rename a view, a table or anything you can go for this rename command and obviously when you rename something the metadata will be changed again. All these data DDL statements are auto committed means the time you will execute them it will be committed and you will not be able to roll it back. Means if by mistake you dropped a particular object you will not be able to roll that back. The table or any object will be gone. So uh, you must have the administrative privileges before starting working with these set of statements. So since we are working with we are working as an admin in our databases we can easily execute any of such commands. So let's start working on the DDL statements from the next video.